This is Danny from Peak of Dev Support. In this video, we'll go over how to map the Pico buttons with Unity's input system. If you take a look at the sample scene, in the poke area, you actually find a place where you can actually press a button to get a particle effect, to get a sound effect, and to increment the UI. First, we'll choose which effects we want. I want the top button on the right controller to increment the UI, play a particle effect, and play sound at the same time. I want the bottom button to decrement the UI and play a sound. And then I'll show you how to map this and do this in code. Let's get started. Let's rename our Pico sample scene. Let's call it Pico button inputs. Now we want to look for our input action manager. You can actually find it in our XR origin setup. Go over here, click on it. And in the input action map here, let's create a new one, a new action map called Pico XR. For the first action, we'll call it increment button. It'll be a button type action, and then bind it. Let's bind it to the XR controller, Pico controller, right one, and we will do it for a top button, which is a secondary button. Then for the second button, we'll call it decrement button. Again, action type will be button, binding path. This one will be the right controller as well, but I want to bind this to the right controller bottom button, primary button. All right, make sure to save the asset. Next, we have our three actions buttons here. First one is the particle effect. The particle effect is just actually kind of long and I want it to actually start where the increment UI button will be. First, uh, let's stop it from looping and let's uh, duplicate it, move it over to our increment UI button. And then we want to reduce the duration to 0.25. That seems about right. That's good to me. So now I'm not sure, not sure where the UI script is. So I'll go into the, the interactions, find where it is. You can click on it and it'll pop up over here for you. And in the increment text, let's copy the increment text and just call it decrement text. Make sure you get the summary correct. We write everything. So instead of plus one, we'll do minus one for the decrement. Then we'll create a new game object and call it Pico XR. This will be holding our script, call it Pico button inputs. And this is the script we want to create. So go ahead and go to our script file, create C sharp script. Let's call it Pico button inputs. Go ahead and open it up. And we'll be using Unity's uh, input system. So we'll be using that namespace here. We'll call it input action reference, increment button, input action reference, decrement button. Then we want to bring in our increment UI. It's actually in the namespace of starter assets. So let's add that in. Then we will add, get, add in our particle systems. And then we'll need to add in our audio source. Make sure that lines up. Now for our uh, action. Each one will have three actions. We'll have a started, cancel, the perform. Started calls once per... When its button is activated, perform is once per frame, and canceled is called, an event is called when you release the button. For this one, we want to do it when action is started. So increment button dot action dot started, and we'll subscribe to this event. Let's just call it do increment. As you can see here, let's have um, Unity give make a new method. As you can see here, the, for the the callback to actually work, you actually need to have a parameter called input action dot callback context. You actually don't need to do anything with the um, that parameter. You just have to have it. So let's do one inc do increment and do a do decrement. Subscribe to these events. Decrement button for the do decrement. Increment button for the do increment. As you subscribe to the event, you also need to unsubscribe to it. We'll do that on destroy. Now for the do increment method, we want to go into the increment script and increment the text at the same time, play the audio. Also at the same time, we want to activate the particle effect. Now for a do decrement, we want to go into our increment script and use the decrement for the UI. We also want to play the audio. No particle effect for this one. Go ahead and save it. That's Add that script to our game object that we named before. 
go back to our input action manager and go back to the actions you created. If you click on each one, you can actually get the name of each one here. Increment button, decrement button will be over there. Our increment script, particle effect. Audio source didn't know where it was, so go ahead and click on push button. Go to your interactions, figure out where it is. It's actually on that game object. Move that game object, add that in. And that should be it. Go ahead and save our project. Let's build it and check it out. The button works. Get the sound, get the particle effects, and lower button goes down. Perfect.